Today's the boys. Today's the day, boys. It's an inside joke, but I shared it with the world. So, today I'm starting my uploads to Plum Nearly Fit. All it's gonna be for a while is probably just my own videos until I start diving into content online and things like that. But, uh, <laughs> today I'm running around the Wilson County State Fairgrounds. Wilson County Fair used to be until 2021. And then in 2021 and 2022, they made it the Wilson County Fair slash State Fair. And I've never ran around the whole perimeter. So I don't even know what the length is, but it's what we're doing today. I'm not really concerned about the time or anything like that. But essentially I haven't ran um, over a mile in about a week and a half just because of, uh, I was working a fireworks stand for four days, close to the fourth, and I lost a lot of weight. So I've been doing a lot more resistance training, trying to get my food back up and just didn't feel like cardio was the right approach, especially when these 100 degree, feels like 115 degree days out here. So, but today's the boys. So I'm taking off. We're here at the first entrance, and I don't know how many entrances there are. I'd like to count them, but anyway, we're running the fairgrounds today. I guess I should say, too, that my goal would be to stay as close to eight minute miles as I can, because I anticipate this being close to six miles, but we'll see what it actually is. here in this bomb shelter. No, it's a public bathroom. Getting some shade. It's hot as hell out here. I don't even know what it is. So the route I ran around the fairgrounds ended up being about 3.4 miles. And uh, it's honestly less than what I expected. Now, there are some roads that offshoot into what looked like some uh, I think some gun ranges for the police and things of that nature. But, uh, and then one area that actually went down a road next to a house, I ran beside it, two big German shepherds came running out. I said, not today. And so I turned around and actually spoke to what seemed to be the head of security around here and spoke to him for a minute. And he was just saying, go by this fence row that bordered that house uh, at 90 degrees. And so I ran around that fence line and down through the ag area here at the fairgrounds and ended up being about 3.4 miles again. So less than what I expected. Kind of need to even this out and get four. I don't feel right getting 3.4. It's not a good number, but uh, I guess my pace ended up being close to about a nine minute mile. Uh, I'm not an endurance athlete as hard as I try, as thin as I am. I just don't eat enough to equate for the fast twitch muscle that I have. And uh, I'm trying to get better about it, but it's not easy. It's not easy, I have to cram food and we'll talk more about that later. But yeah, there's the old speed wagon, 2004 runner, 313,000 miles. Had it for six years and I've put uh, 100, probably 20 something thousand of those miles on there. I got it at about 190. I love it. It's my pride and joy. Paid off. It runs like a top, even though it's got check engine light. But yeah, good day at the fairgrounds. Guess I'm gonna go run one more mile as fast as I can just for the sake of it. <laughs> and call it a day. Just the split of the miles that I ran. So originally it was the 2.7, and we'll get into the splits in a second. But, um, and I ran 0.7 miles. Not exactly what I wanted, but 
Uh, that's 8.57 for the first mile, and then 9.23 for the second. Should have pushed myself a lot more, but I pushed myself later in the day, as you'll see in a second. And then the 13.1 um, equates to about a three to four minute conversation that I ended up having with um, the head of security, I think is who he was. And um, he actually threw me a water bottle. It was nice, but um, I did not run past those big ass dogs. And um, yeah, I ended up challenging myself quite a bit more and you'll see that in a second. After I talked to the security guy, I ended up um, stopping the timer just because I didn't want to bleed that 13.1 mile crappy time since I stopped over into the rest of the run. So I just started another timer. And as you can see, that one ended up being uh, this 0.7. I can't tell where I'm at here, but it ended up being 8.32 pace for a full mile. And... I did a running in the parking lot a little further than where I started because I started at the actual gate around the perimeter of the building, or the, the fair, I should say. So, 0.7 at the end. Yeah, after seeing those splits, that's not good enough. It's not gonna cut it today. Gotta push myself. So, we're gonna see how fast we can get a mile. Ideally, as close to six minutes as possible. It's gonna be a tall order today. Five minutes later. Found myself in an old familiar place. Cumberland University football field. It used to be Lebanon High School football field. The old Lebanon High School. Formerly Noakes Lasseter. I don't remember what it's called now. Home of the Phoenix. Uh, don't believe it says. But yeah, kind of cool. They said I can just come out here and run. Didn't even have to ask. So I'm gonna be out here all the time now. The only downside is pavement not that i don't like running on pavement i actually prefer it but as far as running on a track there are better options but i think we're gonna start right here at this grate hit four laps and get an honest mile in flat mile let's get it i got pretty freaking gassed i ended up running a half mile at about a 6.2 mile pace and then I walked a lap around the track to just recover a little bit, get the heart rate back down. So after that first half mile, I walked that quarter mile to recover and then ran another half mile, beat my pace, ended up getting a 6.03 mile pace, which I'll take. Uh, but I didn't get that full mile in, which is okay. Uh, given the day, I'll, I'll take what I can get. And this was getting back to my roots, running a quarter mile, 400 meter around the track that I grew up running track on, at least my sophomore year. Um, yeah, I don't think I ran my junior year. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy with that considering that it was um, 0.29 rather, rather than an honest quarter. But you can see that I glitched out the Adidas running app when it says I averaged 15 miles per hour and my max speed was 13.8. After all I did today, running a mile under, or running a quarter mile, I should say, under a minute, I was pretty thrilled with that. So I guess I'm gonna start getting that time back down and start utilizing Cumberland's track more. Very excited for that. So that's it, the very first Plum Daily Fit official video. Like I said, it's just gonna be a training vlog for a little bit. And uh, I'm looking forward to regular uploads. I guess tomorrow I'll make, today I should say, I'll make a video for tomorrow. Um, just talking about my background and what I'm training for, what my goals are, because anybody that's training should have goals in mind uh, as specific as possible when it comes to training. And where I do have specific goals, I haven't necessarily been following those goals for a long time. And uh, I'm just staying in relatively good shape, uh, working on skill components rather than uh, your core principles of fitness as outlined by whoever it is, NASM or ACSM. But really looking forward to making more uploads and um, getting this thing going.
So like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.